Hello students, I welcome you all to Engineers Academy. Do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that is indicated by the derivation. The principle of impulse and momentum is valid for observers in any reference frame. In any inertial reference frame, show that this is so by considering the 10 kg block which slides along the smooth surface and subjected to a horizontal force of 6 Newton. If observer A is a fixed frame X, determine the speed of the block in 4 seconds if it has an initial speed of 5 meter per second measured from the fixed frame. So let's say that we write that observer A which is for the fixed frame. So the initial velocity is let's say V1 for the fixed frame for the observer A is 5 meter per second. So we, we are asked to determine the final speed of the block in 4 seconds if it has an initial speed of 5 meter per second measured from the fixed frame. Compare the result with that obtained by an observer B attached to the x dash axis that moves a constant velocity of 2 meter per second relative to A. So ob observer B is moving uh, 2 meter per second relative to A. So we have to compare the result of both. So for observer A, we can apply the principle of linear momentum which says that mv1 plus the summation of the impulse due to the external forces is equal to the final momentum. So now the initial velocity is 5 meter per second and the mass of the block is 10. We will write that this is 10 multiplied by 5 and remember that this is the positive direction, right? We are considering this direction as positive. So the velocity is in the positive direction. So this is 10 into 5 plus the, the block is subjected to this 6 Newton external force. So we have to find the impulse of this external force, right? So that will be the integral of 6 dt and this is equal to mass. Mass is 10 and v2 and this v2 will be for observer A. We are doing this for the fixed reference frame. And now we, we have to find this V2 for t equals to 4 seconds. This is t equals to 4 seconds. So we have to integrate this from 0 to 4 seconds. Now this is 10 into 5 plus and when we integrate this, we can write this 6 outside of the integration. So this will be 6t and this is from 0 to 4. And if we put these limits, so this will be 4 minus 0. This will be 4 minus 0 and which will give us 6 into 4 and 6 into 4 is 24. So this is 24 equals to 10 V2 and to find V2 we have to divide this whole equation by 10. So this is divided by 10 divided by 10 and this is divided by 10. So this will become V2 and this will cancel out. So this will cancel out we will have 5 plus 2, 24 divided by 10 is 2.4. This will be equal to V2 for observer A. So V2 for observer A is 7.4 meter per second. Now we will do the same calculation for observer B which is moving with relative velocity. This is observer B and we let's say that for observer B V1 dash is equal to that V1 minus the relative velocity. So V1 minus 2 since observer B is moving with 2 meter per second relative to observer A. So now V1 dash will be 5 minus 2. So this is 3 meter per second. So for observer B, the initial velocity of the block which is moving with 5 meter per second relative to a fixed reference frame. So for B, the velocity will be the observed the observe velocity for observer B is 3 meter per second. So we have to write again that same uh, principle of impulse and momentum which is again mv1 dash for observer b v1 is v1 dash let's say plus the summation of the impulse due to the external forces this will be equal to mv2 dash. So now the mass remains the same which is 10 v1 dash is 3 and again Remember that this is our positive direction. So this is 10 into 3 plus the only external force is that 6 Newton force. So we have to write that 6 
dt and again we have to find v2 dash for 0 to 4 seconds and this is equal to mass 10 into v2 dash. So, this is 10 into 3 plus we can write this 6 outside of integration. So, this will be 6t from 0 to 4 this is equal to 10 v2 dash. If we put these limits this will be 4 minus 4 minus 0 and we will get that same 24. So, this is 6 into 4 is 24. So, this is 24. And now, if we divide both sides of equation by 10, so this will cancel out, this will cancel out. So, we will have 3 plus 24 divided by 10 is 2.4 and this is equal to V2 dash. So, now if we compare both of these results, so V2 is equal to 5, that initial velocity 5 plus 2.4 and similarly V2 dash is the initial velocity for observer B that is 3 plus that same 2.4. So, this is let us say V2 dash is 5.4 meter per second. So, now for the observer A for the fixed frame the final velocity is 7.4 meter per second and since the observer B is moving with the 2 meter per second relative velocity to observer A. So, according to observer B the final velocity of the block is 5.4 meter per second which should be less than the V2 for observer A and this decrease in V2 dash should be uh, equal to that same uh, 2 meter per second. So, this is 7.4 meter per second. So, V2 dash must be 7.4 minus 2. So, 7.4 minus 2 is 5.4 meter per second. So, this means that the principle of linear uh, impulse and momentum is applicable to any uh, reference frames inertial frame and the and another frame which is moving relative to the inertial reference frame. So, this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning.